And we're back with part two of what if Kyrie Irving left the Boston Celtics this offseason. And we did finish six games better than last season at 57 and 25. Coming off of an NBA championship, let's just see if we can carry that momentum into the postseason. Steph Curry wins MVP, averaging 38 points, shooting 92% from free throw, 46 from Curry. Zion on the Cavs gets Rookie of the Year. Kevin Love, Sixth Man of the Year, probably backing up. Him, Defensive Player of the Year, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Most improved goes to Joseph Yurk. Mike D'Antoni, Coach of the Year. Any Celtics players on all NBA teams this year? I doubt it. Yep, what do you know? Any defensive players? No, not really. And then uh, all rookie first team, we do get Trey Jones. So that does make me feel happy about him. He only averaged six points, seven rebounds, which is really surprising, and nine assists per game. That's probably what got him up there. Shot 40%, 32 from three, and 65 from free throw. So need to get those numbers up. He averaged 32 minutes per game, already up to an 80 overall. So that is good to see. We did finish with the best record in the Eastern Conference. And we are going to be playing the eight-seeded Detroit Pistons, who finished 38-44, who have Isaiah Whitehead, Luke Kennard, R.J. Barrett, Blake Griffin, Andre Drummond. So that front court is really scary, but we should take them. Um, let's look at player stats. Jason Tatum averaged 20 points for the first time in his career, so that's good to see. 20 points, 4 rebounds, 5 rebounds, I mean, 1 assist, 1 steal, 1 block. Buddy Heald, that's really good numbers for him. 19 points, a little down from last year, but that's okay. 3 rebounds, 3 assists, and almost 1 steal per game. Anise Cantor, 12 points, 9 rebounds, numbers a little down, but hey, what do you know? Um, and then assist, only 2 but two per game, one steal and half block per game. Jalen Brown, his numbers are still steady at 12 and a half. Um, four rebounds, one assist. Nikhil Alexander Walker, the rookie. Derek Favors, his numbers were down. Uh, Tyus Battle, already saw Trey Jones' numbers. There's Aaron Baines, Jonte Porter as a rookie. And, um, yeah. And uh, team stats, I did not show this last year, but points per game, they were See, we were 12th defense. We were the best, and then second best in point to free throw. We shot 37% from three pointer and 47 from the field. So those are really good numbers to see. And I'm expecting us to try and get to the Eastern Conference Finals. I called it a success last season when we won the NBA championship. But that was really not supposed to happen. So can we go back to back? That is the question. So Detroit takes game one. We take game two. Game three goes to them. Game four goes to us. Game five goes to us. Game six goes to us. We win in six. We're playing against Washington. And then on the West Coast, it's Houston versus L.A., and OKC versus Minnesota, and the Lakers swept Golden State. Curry is all alone, and he averaged 38 this season. That's why he won an MVP. Uh, Rudy Gay, Jordan Bell, Damian Jones, Danny Green, Kobe White, J.R. Smith as a Warrior, yeah, they let that happen in their life. So we are playing the Washington Wizards, who still happen to have John Wall, Bradley Bill, Chris Middleton, Zach Randolph. So that front court, not too good. The back court, Wall and Bill, yeah, that's scary. But we did finish 12 games better than them, so we'll do this one slow. Game one goes to us. We blow them out, 126 to 92. Game two, they blow us out, 110 to 79. Game three, they win by five. Game four, let's not go down three, one plays, and we do. We get beat by ten. Game five, we're at home. And we'll do this one really slow, so I'm just message me. And it's a very even first quarter. And looks like we're going to 
be up at the end of the first, no, it's tied at the end of the first quarter. Back and forth. Let's really, please. And we get eliminated. We get eliminated. Oh my gosh, we got too cocky. And the Washington Wizards are in the Eastern Conference Finals against Toronto. And on the West, it's Houston versus OKC. And it's going to be Toronto versus Houston in the NBA Finals. And Houston may blow a 3-1 lead, and they do. Kawhi Leonard finally gets his MVP, MVP for the Finals once again, but he brings a championship to Toronto. League meetings once again. Anything change? Nope. Uh, draft lottery. Do we, we just have our first round pick, I believe, and we do. So we have the 27th pick, and we will look to trade that pick. For a better pick, and see if we can get a highly... Um, Rated draft prospects. So our highest paid player is Anise Cantor. Do we want to move on from him already? Not really. What can we get for an OGA in our pick? We can get a backup center. Benny Boatwright. Um, who has like picked? Oh, that's second one. Never mind. Uh, twelve. Jazz. Don't take Porter. We are not giving up Porter, but we will give up Belugia. Okay, who's got like fifteen? The thirteen. Oh, they get the pick back. All right, so we do have a little bit higher first round pick now. And we go after Josh Green. Don't know much about that kid, but he looks good. Mac McClung, bro, what? <laughs> You know what? Let's just get Mac McClellan. You know, we got the 27th pick now, so maybe we can get a big man. And we do get a big man. James Wiseman goes number one. Anthony Edwards goes number two. Cole Anthony goes three. We got Mac McClung at a 74 overall. Um, yes, we'll bring Tatum back. Robert Williams, I'm sorry, they're just not going to cut it here. And then qualifying offers, we will not offer um, Anthony Melton, but we will offer Jalen Brown and Buddy Keel. So. We will offer a max deal to Buddy Hill. And just keep throwing money at him. And I think we're gonna be number one at VR for sure. Jalen Brown, throw money at him as well. But we will decline them both times. So, just gotta keep in mind we gotta offer them every day an offer. So. See, Buddy Hill is popping up now, but it's the last day. And wait a second. Check real quick. Where did Al Horford play last year? Okay, so he played for Sacramento. Buddy Hill, I'll offer you that. Jalen Brown, we'll offer you that. Now we can go for somebody big. Alright, so we need a backup point guard. 
Did Laquan play, uh... Can you play point? That's a good play. So McClung's are going to be our backup point guard. We've got three really good sh shooting guards. We're set at small forward. Um, we're going to move on. I really hate to do this, but we need to move on from an East Canter. What can we just get for an East Canter straight up? Can we get a potential yellow promising center? Really call it Stein. No. But I'd like to see Cody Zeller playing person. He got 28 points. You get Marcus Smart back. Borgie James, but he's up there. He's going to start progressing. Twas Bates, Bossy Bates, Bossy Bates. How are you saying your name? I'm probably going to do. This trade with the Miami Heat. I'm not giving up him. Okay, let's do that. Okay, never mind. The Heat. Yeah, you can give us a uh, Jamichael Green, but we're going to trade him. Even though he is a 79 overall, we just need a decent little backup. Third string point guard. Trey Burke would be interesting. Zubach. DeLon Wright. I always forget about him. I think he's a good defender. I could be wrong, but yeah, he's a good defender. So, welcome to the team, DeLon Wright. And I think we're set. So, yeah. And what are we? Entice Battle. Highest battles overall does go up to a 77, so that's good. But I think we're set. Yeah, we are definitely set. Let's go over to player progression. I really thought we had a good chance of winning the championship. But everybody's progressed, so that is good to see. And our oldest player is 29, so we're still young. Jalen Brown up to an 83. Buddy Hill up to an 84. Jason Tatum. Almost a 90, which is great. <clears throat> <coughs> Daniel Gafford up to an 80. Give us here, or let me see here how you say your name. You're up to 77. It says 77 there, but then over here it's says 73. So. Wow. Alright, so the real question is who do we send to untap potential? That is the question I want to know. Because I have high expectations for 2020, 2020 and 2021 season. Training camps, we only have one. So perimeter defense. Send it to Jason Tatum. Get him developed a little bit more out there. <clears throat> Matt McClung may not like it, but we may put him in the G League. Actually, we're going to put Tyus Battle down there. Let him develop a little bit more. Let's try to get an inside center. Are you kidding me right now? Or do we not have money? We don't have money to just sign someone to a veteran's minimum. What the heck? Oh, 
Okay, so it looks like we cannot sign anybody to the veteran criminal contract. Um, Jalen Brown, you'll get 27. Alexander Walker, you'll get 22. Delon Wright, you'll get 17. Porter, you're going to get 17. Daniel McGaffrey, you're going to get 14. Trey Jones, you're going to get 27. Buddy, about 29. Tatum, 33. And Bam out of Iowa, 26. So, hopefully we can do a little bit better this year. I'm hoping, yeah, we're 6 on NBA, 2 on 2K, and 7 on Mark Spears. So, hopefully we can win more than 60 games this year. And I will see you all with the final part of this What If Kyrie Irving Left the Boston Celtics Rebuild.